Hi, my name is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we are going to go over how to create a job using Survey Pro. We will also go over how to import a control file and how to use a reference file. The equipment used today is a Ranger 3 data collector running Survey Pro and a USB flash drive. We will begin on the main screen of Survey Pro. Click on the File button and then Open New. This will bring us to the initial job screen. Here we can open an existing job or create a new one. If you are opening Survey Pro for the first time, you will see this page right away. To create a new job, click on New at the bottom of the screen. The job name defaults to today's date. It is up to you to name it something different or leave it the same. The job you are creating will be stored in whichever folder is displayed at the top of the screen. It is automatically stored in the Survey Pro Jobs folder that comes on each data collector. To change where the job will be stored, just click on Browse and select where you want it to be stored. After you have selected the folder, you will see it displayed at the top of the new job screen. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a Create Job Now button. You can use this if you want the settings to stay the same from the last job that was used. Otherwise, click the Settings button at the bottom of the screen. On this new job screen, you can select some basic settings. Select Azimuth Type, Grid Direction, Units for Distances, and Units for Angles. You can also select a refraction coefficient if you will be performing an optical job. Tap next to move on. If you don't have any points files, you can start your job using no control or reference file. You can also choose to use an existing control file. If you select to use a control file, those points will be imported into the job. It will only import points that have been stored with control quality. You also have the option to use a reference file within your job. This will then reference the points from another job to be used in your new job. Reference file points will not be imported into the current job, but can be seen on point lists and the map within the job. They will be displayed with a different icon. If you use a reference point as a control point, it will then be imported into the job as a control point. The process of using a control file or reference file is the same, so we will go over adding a control file. Just select Use a Control File and then Browse. This will bring us to our File Explorer. There are four different file types that can be used here. Survey File, Job File, Trimble DC File, or Job XML File. We will be importing a job from a USB flash drive that is plugged into the bottom of the data collector. To find the flash drive, click the file icon in the top right. Scroll over and find hard disk. Here we will see all the files with the file extensions selected at the top of the screen. Once you find your file, double click on it. Tap Next. This screen is where we will be able to select the coordinate system. Since we are importing a control file, we will just check the box that says Use Control Files Projection. Click Next, which will bring you to another screen where we will click Finish. The points will then import and the job has been created with control points already in the job. In conclusion, we have gone over how to properly create a new job using Survey Pro. 
We have also showed how to import the control file and use a reference file. We hope you found this video helpful and will join us again next time. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful videos as well. Thank you.